Throughout their rich 150-year history, America's historically black colleges and universities, or HBCUs, have served as a haven for black intellectuals, artists, and revolutionaries, and as an available path towards the American dream for all African Americans. HBCUs have educated many of the architects of this country's freedom movements and have nurtured some of the most influential Americans of our time. Americans such as Booker T. Washington, Martin Luther King Jr., W.E.B. Du Bois, Ralph Ellison, Thurgood Marshall, Toni Morrison, Oprah Winfrey, and Alice Walker, to name just a few. Tell Them We Are Rising, the story of black colleges and universities, a new documentary that will premiere on PBS on Monday, February 19th, tells the rich but little-known story of these critically important American institutions of higher learning. Here's a preview. The question for African Americans has always been, what is education's purpose? Who controls it? And what is the relationship of education to the broader aspirations of our people? The more the system denies you the chance to read and to write, the more that becomes a prize that you must have. Black colleges were redefining what it meant to be black in America. You were pursuing a career where intellect mattered. An educated black population could not be an enslaved black population. We want black power. If you weren't out there demonstrating, then Something had to be wrong with your school. We wanted freedom now. But whites were not prepared for any changes here. I think they should be kept out any way possible. A slaveholder could work a slave to death. He could rape a slave. He could do virtually anything, but teach a slave how to read or write. As soon as the war breaks out, the first thing they want is to get an education. They wanted those schools to be as free as possible from paternalism, from racism, whether subtle or blatant. Said you better let my Movements are easily birthed on HBCU's campuses. We must love and protect each other. We're all going through the same experience. HBCU is somewhere where I can be completely myself. The black college experience provides the place to be in the majority. That is such a unique and empowering experience. This HBCU experience has taught me that anything is possible as long as you have that one spark. And with us now is the writer, director, and producer of Tell Them We Are Rising, Stanley Nelson. Stanley, welcome back to the program. Uh, thank you so much. This is a wonderful film. I've seen it almost three times, <laughs> two and a half times, and I like it every time. So, you know, the film spans a period of 150 years, and, and, and these colleges and universities have played a pivotal role, critical, pivotal role throughout American history. Mm -hmm. so, so given this immense time span, how were you able to choose, how, what criteria did you use to choose the stories that you chose? Yeah, that was probably the biggest challenge that we had, you know. Uh, how do you tell this huge story? How do you siphon it down and tell it uh, in an hour and a half? Um, and so what we did was we said, you know, what film does best is it tells stories. You know, it doesn't give a list of 100 and something, something schools, you know. Right. It doesn't give a lot of facts and figures. It tells stories. So we chose stories. And, and you know, one story led to the next. So to give an example, we knew that we wanted to start the film in the time of enslavement, when it was illegal for African Americans to be educated. In fact, it was illegal to educate your own slave. Hmm. That, that was one of the laws that was on the books throughout the South. You can't educate your slaves. That's how much education was feared. Yeah. So we knew we wanted to start back there because that kind of gives a base to the whole story. So that's our first story. Okay, so hmm. then what's the second story? You know, and we just went on from there. So. You know, I, I know what it takes to make a documentary. I know that by the time the cameras the camera start rolling, you become an expert because you've done so much research. But there's usually something that surprises you in the course of filming. What surprised you? I think, you know, um, one of the things that surprised me so much was how uh, uh, 
what a, a, a an amazing role black colleges played at so many pivotal moments in African American history and American history. You know, so Brown versus Board of Ed, which changed the whole idea of separate but equal, which ended segregation as a law, um, was really pushed through at the Howard uh, Law School. Uh, the sit-in movement was started at North Carolina A&T, the Freedom Rides, Freedom Summers, so many things. Um, the Black Power Movement, a lot of uh, uh, took off at, at black college campuses. Today, Black Lives Matter. Um, um, gets uh, its strength, some, some of its strength and momentum at black college campuses. Mm -hmm. So it, it was really um, uh, uh, fascinating to me, you know, how central uh, black colleges have u and universities have been uh, to so much of the history of yeah. this country. And, and what do you think are, are the biggest misconceptions of the black colleges and universities, even among <laughs> African American communities? Well, I, you know, I, 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 I've been traveling around w with the film, screening it at black college campuses, you know, getting ready for the, the February 19th uh, premiere on PBS. And, and one thing I, I found, you know, it, it's like, it's almost like in the back of people's minds, they have this image that black colleges are held together by glue and spit, and, you know, mm, yeah. and, and they're, they're in these little wooden buildings that people are <laughs> nailing shut, you know. But that's not the way it is. I mean, those, uh, a lot of these campuses are incredibly, uh, uh, you know, they're just incredible campuses. <laughs> they're incredibly diverse, uh, incredible buildings. We were just at FAMU, I think, yeah, Florida A&M University. I think there's mm. something like 8,000 students at Florida A&M. Uh -huh. It's a beautiful, beautiful campus. Yeah. You talk about the diversity within this college, and I was surprised in the course of doing research uh, for our interview, um, I discovered there was a, a report, a study by University of Pennsylvania that said it, um, 50 years ago, the, uh, the university's HBCUs were all black. Mm -hmm. um, in 1980, 80% 80 were black. And by the 2002 or 2000, no, by 2013, it was 75% black. This... I'm sure that the trajectory can, is continuing in that direction. How much is that going to change the essential character of, uh, of HBCUs? You know, this is my own personal opinion. I mean, I, I don't think the essential character is changing or has changed in the vast, vast, vast majority of black colleges and universities. So still, you know, they are, they are very uh, different institutions. The enthusiasm, mm. uh, the love of the school is very different. You know, homecoming is, is something just incredible yeah. at HBCUs. Uh, you know, even, you know, lunchtime and dinner time, as somebody said, you know, the other day, you know, they're the only place that you get grits for breakfast. You know, um, <laughs> they're just different institutions in, in, in a way. And, and I think, um, in some ways, the educational style can be different. They're much, they tend to be more nurturing than the than the vast majority of majority white institutions. Part of it is 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 a nurturing of you know let me help you you know you know you can do it you know what's wrong you know why didn't you come to class yeah. you know it, it's 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 just it's it's more of 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 that nurturing which is is part of their culture from the beginning yeah. and and that's that's part of the culture that has sustained. All right, Stanley. So the the film, as I said, is brilliant. It's wonderful. I hope a lot of people see it. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you so, so much. February 19th. Yeah, there, here we go. Tell them we are rising. The story of Black College and Universities premieres February 19th at 9 p.m. on PBS. Please check your local listings for additional airtimes.